Today, I'm gonna show you how to make stream alerts that not only display the alerts, but also affect your webcam border. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today's video is just going to be a bit of a short video over a technique that I've been messing around with when creating some new alerts. A lot of people have been asking for dual trigger alerts, and I don't think people know that's what they're called usually, or what I call them at least. I've heard a lot of people call them dual trigger alerts, and what that means is not only is your graphic playing when somebody follows your stream, your graphic pops up, but also your webcam border changes. Maybe the colors cycle through or do something special just something happens to your webcam and usually people have thought that was really hard to do you'd need an alert company that would allow for something like a dual trigger alert that you could play a graphic and play something over your webcam but I'm gonna show you how you can simply do that all within just one alert you can do it in Streamlabs you can do it in stream elements and it is super easy so let's take a look we're gonna start inside of Photoshop so let's say you've got your stream um, webcam border here this is one for my pack that I released last week if you guys haven't seen that video there's a link in the description to get some free what awesome looking webcam borders so here's one from the pack this is just the Photoshop document or the Photoshop file so there's no animation to it and normally I would bring this right here into OBS in a full size just like that and then I'd scale it down in OBS to get to get the most quality out of my webcam border but what I've done today is I've actually created a new one where I've just taken this and I've scaled it down to the position where the webcam is going to be already in OBS. So no scaling is needed inside of OBS. And this Photoshop document right here is already, here we go, pixels, 1920 or by 1080. The HD video size that most people are streaming in, you can make it 720 if you want. Even if it is 1920 by 1080 like this, you can scale it down in OBS and it's the same aspect ratio, so this will work. But pretty much all you need to know is I scaled down the webcam border to fit where it's going to in OBS. And then you just want to save this out as a PNG. So you've got the alpha background and you can bring this into OBS like any other webcam border. But I didn't stop there. I then took this Photoshop document into After Effects and added a bit of an animation to it. So you can see we've got this alert thing that pops out of the bottom. And then after like five seconds, it goes back up into it just like that. It's a very simple animation that you can do. If you guys want to see how to do simple animation like this inside of After Effects, I'd be happy to make a video on that. But then you'll also see that the webcam border is normally red. And when the alert comes out, it shifts to another color. So it shifts to yellow. And that's just using a basic hue and saturation effect here. And then I keyframed the master hue to just kind of move to yellow when the alert pops out and then it moves back to red. So this is all you need. You need a PNG of your webcam border already down, scaled down into the corner, and then you need an animation saved into a WebM just like this, where it's already your webcam down in the corner, and then it changes colors or has a, a graphic pop out of it. You don't even need to have the graphic pop out of it. You can have the graphic somewhere else on the screen. It just affect your webcam border as well, because that's the whole point of this tutorial. So once you have got it animated, export it as a WebM, and then it is time to move in to Streamlabs. All right, guys, so inside of Streamlabs, I've just gone ahead and imported that webcam animation that we just made into our follower alerts. So there we go. We've got our webcam in the WebM format. This is the one that the color changes and then the uh, graphic pops out of the bottom that we did inside of After Effects. And then all we want to do is mess around with a couple things up here. Like I have it fading in and fading out. That is perfectly fine. The text up here really doesn't matter because you are going to have to mess around with like HTML or CSS coding to get the text to move over where you need it to. I'm not super familiar with coding, but I know there's tons of videos on there on YouTube and all over the place about how to move text around inside of CSS and HTML. So you might want to look up one of those videos because you'll need it to get it to come out from behind your webcam as well. Alert duration, five seconds. I think that is going to be just fine. And there is really nothing else we need to change. We just need our image here. And then you just need to copy your link for your browser source inside of OBS. So here we are inside of OBS. And the first thing you're going to need to do is just import the image of your webcam overlay that we created inside of Photoshop. This is just the photo from Photoshop, not the animated one. This is your normal webcam border. This will be up on your entire stream forever. It just sits there. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to create your browser source, and this is where it changes a little bit from how you would normally do it. So let's call this tutorial uh, alerts. 
Okay, and then you're gonna paste that link that we copied from your Streamlabs right there, like you would with any other alert box. But what we wanna do is quickly change this width and height to 1920 by 1080 or whatever the size was of the comp that you created inside of After Effects because we want everything to line up perfectly. So you want your uh, alert box to be the exact same size of your stream. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And there we go, you see our alert box is perfectly going around the entire stream. So that means it should line up exactly with our pre-existing webcam border here so you see this is just a webcam border image and if we make sure that our alerts um, browser source is over the top of our webcam image and we go ahead and hit test on our streamlabs so let's go ahead and hit test here test follow and there we go as you can see it changes yellow and we've got something popping out behind it and then when it goes away it goes right back to being our normal photo you'll see the text just kind of pops up here in the middle like i said with html or css coding you'll need to move that over right over here but as you can see we've got it affecting our webcam and we also have a graphic coming out like i said earlier you don't need the graphic to just come out from behind the webcam you could have the graphic over here like a normal webm based animated alert but then you could also have your webcam pop in and change color so let's go ahead and test it again and there you go as you can see changes color pops out looks really cool and it looks a lot more advanced than it actually is all right guys and that's pretty much it like i said this video was gonna be a little bit shorter and it's really just a technique for creating alerts of something a little bit different that might make you stand out having your webcam border change colors and don't even leave it at just changing colors you could have your webcam like flash different colors and like have a light sweep go across you could have to do all kinds of things just make sure it lines up perfectly with your old webcam border and make sure the animation ends with what your border looked like as well notice we have the color shift back to red so that when the alert disappears there's no like noticeable cut when it cuts back to just the photo of your webcam border but i hope you guys enjoyed the video i do try to stream every sunday and tuesday over on twitch.tv forward slash gravity so make sure you're jumping over there and dropping a follow and maybe catching a live stream if you want to but i will see you guys in the next video